Well, last time we used you guys, so we're going to turn that unit on. And we used you guys, so we're going to turn that unit on. Going to go ahead and turn these guys off. And I'm going to turn these guys on. I believe you get Huntress and Druid first, and then unlock Biomancer. Yeah, that feels right to me. There we go. Ninety-seven out of ninety-seven challenges. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember Bear actually sucks in this. I forgot about that. Hmm. This could get bad. I'm gonna head up this way and get the question marks as opposed to going for the Well. Yeah, yeah, I want to do question marks. Alright. Cold, which makes Bear even worse because he's going to run out into the cold and get absolutely demolished. This is the worst place to use Bear. <laughs> we're also going to need some speed. That way we're able to get out of the cold as fast as possible. So. Sir. Hopefully just one-shot people before they get, what is it, double health, and then triple health later. Maybe we can get another bear, and oh yeah, four melee comps are not actually bad in this, because you are able to spin around and hit people, as opposed to getting absolutely wrecked. <sighs> Been a while. Been a damn while. I hate Bard, but I do need to use him eventually. Why did that deal 17 damage? Alright, okay, we're fucked. Yep, I should not have gone with Bard, and I definitely shouldn't have fought Artificer. Alright. Hey, this loss is on me. <laughs> now then, let's see. You are busted in this area because this entire place is about zone defense. I'll try going this way for the question marks. Oh yeah, scrap! I forgot about that. 
And wait over here, and then once he's focused on the turret, Quill just walk over here and grab this. Probably gonna do double artificer, double something else. Get bonked. Alright, that's front only, so that would be terrible. Hmm. Low movement speed is good. Hmm. Yeah. Also, the best healer is very fucking subjective video game. Hmm. You know what? This will be funny. There we go, quad hasty. Is it terrible? Yes. But you know what? I don't care. It's funny is what it is. We may not have enough damage to actually fight the army of goddamn uh, wolves that are going to sew up once we get to the second phase of the elite. But we certainly can try. Alright, no more elites. We actually just go for goddamn regular things. Let's see. Sir. But I'm picking my starting item this time. Oh, they gave that stats in the base game as well? That's just stupid. Here we go. No elites. Triple question mark. Let's have some fun. Yeah, back in the good old days, they were positional items. So, like, one would be on left to gain these two stats. Th another would be on right to gain these stats. It was fun. Now then... Here 
I guess. Actually, we don't have Cupid. Yeah. So, I'm not going to be able to synergize the two of you together very well. And reminder, this is merciless difficulty. And wicked. So you're not really meant to have an easy time with this. Oh, they changed your rapid fire as well to... Or maybe it's always been that way. I don't know. Mm, you know what, sir? This will work, because now I can get a second archer and things will work out fine. You'll also notice only one EXP point per level. Rather than one on each. Oh yeah, I forgot the heavenly like super heal, so the more you heal the better. I can probably get a... Uh, what is it? A Fissile's Hook and uh, have my Archer contribute a bunch to the healing. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go tanky. There we go. That would be busted in duels. But I've got some ideas. Let me cook. I don't want to just leave duels to rot. I have ideas. And oh my god, tiny little frost witch things. That you just walk out of. I remember these now. Reduce. Oh, they buffed this in base game as well, or are they just not even caring about the base game anymore and updating the descriptions everywhere, despite it no longer being accurate? <sighs> that pissed me off. Oh, that's going to be fun. This is what it means to be a hot hands unit, not to be completely fucking useless all the damn time, but to be an absolute goddamn machine gun. <laughs> That's my fucking item. That's my fucking guy. And now, we just give you more stats. As many as we can find. Like, what does 15% speed even do on a single unit? It's not supposed to... It's supposed to be all on party or nothing. Are you telling me this will seriously actually work? My god, that is dumb. Like, should I just put that on the king? And then run around? faster than everybody else. The reason why you are only able to put speed items on the front is because that way your king can't gain a bunch of speed and new past his own army. <sighs> Let's see. 
see if we can do that. Even though by all rates we should not. Let's fucking try it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eh, I want the treasure chest. Yeah, try getting that to happen in duels. Spoiler alert, it ain't happening. Alright, I can do that and not have to worry about the token being wasted. Nice. I'm kinda glad they added that. Food was interesting and upgrades are more for a loop style.
We've got a distraction totem. We've got an insane amount of healing. We have an insane amount of damage. We have an insane amount of tank. These are all party benefits, so you don't actually need to be the one holding them. Instead, we can do that. Oh, that's good. Managed to make it out of that alive. Okay, that's enough of that silliness. I'm tempted, <laughs> but I know it would be a terrible, terrible, terrible mistake.
or I guess I can slap the boss every now and then. Now for the secret hot hands tech that very few are taught. You get an extra flame orb just for fighting the boss. Yeah, they made those shotgun blasts actually hurt. A lot. I believe here... <sighs> yeah. That's hot hands for you. I'm gonna go ahead and set up the next area.